we're going to demonstrate how to build a simple erosion model. This is a great STEM project to demonstrate the effects of erosion on topsoil. It's important to try to protect and conserve topsoil because the majority of nutrients necessary to sustain plant and animal life are found in just the top layer of soil. Therefore, if this top layer is washed away, the soil left behind is barren and unable to support life. This project will require at least 14 days to complete. There are several different ways you could make this model, but essentially, you'll need three empty plastic containers of equal size. You will need something to hold them up at an angle, and you'll need three cups that are clear. First, we turned our bottles on their side and cut an opening to make it into a planter. We were sure to leave the top spout intact and to avoid cutting away too much of the sides. You'll want your vessel deep enough to keep your soil from spilling out. Before filling our bottles with topsoil, we moved on to preparing the box to hold the bottles at an angle. Here we have a box exactly the same width of each bottle laid side by side. We first propped the bottles up at about 45 degrees and there was a downward slope towards the spout of each bottle. Then we placed a hole in the box while the spout went through the hole. And once our box was all set up to support all three bottles, then we started to fill each bottle with topsoil. To ensure that our bottles were stable and safely placed inside the box, we also used a hot glue gun to secure them into place. We also used an egg carton to help support the weight of the bottles. Our three containers are now filled with soil and we're going to set them up to simulate three different scenarios. For this next step, you'll need any type of quick-growing seeds, such as grass seeds. We're choosing to grow cat grass, since this will benefit our kitties and become a useful experiment in more than one way when we're finished. Whatever seeds you use, be sure that it will form a good, thick root system. You'll also need humus, which is organic matter such as decomposed leaves, or twigs, or branches, or things that you might think about as compost. Leave the third container as just filled with plain soil. Set the containers in a sunny place and water only the seeds every day. We maintained our cat grass and allowed it to grow until it had a nice thick root system and a good amount of growth on top. At this point, we're ready to do our final experiment. You're going to simulate a heavy rainfall, either by using a watering can or just heavily watering each container. In order to make your results most accurate, try to use the same amount of water in each container. Pour the water until each container becomes saturated and the excess water runs out of the spout into the cup. Well, that's this experiment in a nutshell. But the learning and connections related to this topic of erosion have just begun. Consider the implications that this experiment has on farming practices, such as the no-till method of farming and gardening. Our container with the humus helps create a model to illustrate the no-till farming and gardening method. It also illustrates the effect of adding mulch or other organic matter to bare soil in yards and gardens. The cat grass creates a model that helps illustrate how any type of vegetation can help prevent soil erosion. And you may think about the container of just plain soil to demonstrate what happens in a scenario when a heavy rainfall takes place over a barren area of land that has no vegetation and no humus. I hope you had fun watching our experiment, and I hope that you try it too. If you do, please let us know in the comments Thanks so much for watching.